I have a word. The people that tried to hurt you and mistreat you are wondering how are you still able to keep going? They're wondering how are you still able to keep continuing to go and do what you're doing now? They're wondering how are you able to still smile? How are you able to still have peace? Why are you blessed? Actually, some people want your blessings. They want the blessings that you have over your life. They're wondering how are you able to get money? Why is God blessing you? Why isn't he blessing me? Actually, but he's blessing them, but they're too busy looking at your blessings. These people wanted to stop you. You cried out to God many a times about what they were doing to you. You cried out to God. Seek the Heavenly Father. You seek to God about this matter. You kept going when God told you to go on. Even when the people were doing things to you, you kept continuing to move forward. And now they're wondering, how did you get through that? The glory of the Lord is showing all over your life. People are watching you. They thought that they took you out. They thought that what they did to you and, and, and the way they tried to ruin your reputation, the way they tried to slander you, they thought it was going to destroy you. But God said, I, I lifted you up. I picked you up. God was still elevating you in, in the midst of you going through stuff. And those people now are angry because it did not stop you. It did not take you down. It did not destroy you. It did not ruin you. Yes, it hurt you. Hurt your feelings. It did a bunch of things to you. But you kept holding on to God's unchanging hand. You kept going. You kept going even when, when you wanted to quit. Even when you wanted to give up, you kept going. God is saying that he's going to elevate you even more. Those same people that tried to hurt you, that tried to destroy you, they're going to have to sit back and watch you eat. Remember when it says God will prepare a table in the presence of your enemies? These people that you think they want to know all about your life. They know you. They want to know what's going on in your life. Everything. They want to, they want to know why. What are you doing? But God said, I'm still, I'm preparing a table in the presence of your enemy. Not only have I prepared one, I'm getting ready to add more things to the item on the table, to the items on the table. God is about to take you even out because you were obedient. You did what God called you to do. You did what God, you kept going and, and serving the Lord, even when it was very hard because you wanted to break down. You wanted to quit. You was going through so much humiliation. People tried to slander you. People were talking about you. They was, they was, you was still even, you was even helping people, still blessing them. And, and they were still kind of talking about you. And then God told you to stop helping. Stop doing it. God is about to show these people that you are his. You are his. You, many are called, but few are chosen. You are chosen and you have been going through so much. And those people that tried to stop you are angry with you. They want to know, what is it? How are you able to do what you do, God? You're holding on to God's unchanging hand. That's why you're able to do what God, why you're able to do what you do. But they're mad because God blessed you. God is blessing you. God is elevating you. God is helping your children. God is helping your family. If you got children, God is helping your children. God is helping your spouse. God is blessing them, but they're too busy looking at your life. They're not even thankful for what God is doing in their life because they tried to stop your life. They don't want to see you succeed. You see, Saul was, was so happy when David was just playing the harp. But when David began to kill, start killing giants and everything else and started, you know what I'm saying? He became the king. That's what Saul got upset. Saul was angry. As long as he was small, something small, he even tried to put his suit on him. He wanted to put his suit on, on David. But when David, God already knew what David would use to kill the giant. And David was confident because he trusted God. There's been situations that you've been through and you trusted God, even though you got talked about by people with saw spirit. Some of them even had Cain spirits, but you, you, you kept going and kept doing what God called you to do. You didn't stop. You kept going. And God is going to reward you even more. This is not it. There's going to be more that's going to come. I pray that this helps you. Those people, that talked about you are going to have to sit back and watch you eat a buffet. I mean, you're going to be, God is about to add more things to the table. This is just the beginning. You are being rewarded 
for everything you went through. And if they would focus on what they're supposed to be doing and not focus on what you're doing, because that's what they're doing. They want you to go down. They want to see you suffer. They wanted to see your demise. They could, they would stand around waiting and hoping you would go down, but now they don't see you going down. Now they want to, they, they want to, they want to know what, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? What are you, what are you, what's going on in your life? Cause they wanted to see you get ruined. They trying to figure out how you still happy. They want to know your business. God is saying, don't say a word. He's going to speak for you. I pray that this message helps you. God bless you.